Well, it's Saturday morning, getting ready to go to Lincoln. Beautiful Saturday morning, it's our first evening race of the year. Pretty sure I can hear some turkeys off in the distance. Uh, that's probably in the mid 50s, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be turkey season before too long. I got my turkey with me right here, Honeycrisp. She's just out exploring this morning, but be a beautiful day for a race. Can't wait. Everybody's excited. Seth's here getting to wrapping it up, button it all yeah. up here. How's it going, Seth? Well, I think I need to get a longer button to put in the right spot. What's the problem here? This is your first day? First day. Drop first day on the job? Yep. First Zeus day. button malfunction? Zeus button malfunction. What's wrong? What do you say? What do you mean, what's wrong? Can't get them it's in? It's new, it's tight. New and tight. New and tight. Same problem as the last two races. There you go. Well, we're, we're having Zeus button 101 here in the shop oh, today. Yeah. Hi, I'm Billy Dietrich, sprint car mechanic and driver. I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know. We created this channel to share the good and the bad and everything in between. Our crew may not be the most experienced or professional, but we get it done and we have a good time doing it. We'll show you what it's really like. Racing weekly at some of the best tracks in Central Pennsylvania. I'm also going to share some sprint car tutorials, mechanics, and parts, and whatever else I feel like. So like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy. Alright, we're checking back in. It's been 45 minutes. <laughs> So I'm still working on Zeus buttons over here. I mean, I sat down, ate lunch, answered the phone, waited on three customers. I can't tell if you're just having trouble getting the buttons in, or if you're just like milking this job out. Well, it's is this leaving for another two and a half hours, so I gotta make this take all day. Is this how you are at work? Your real job? Done. No, no. You just, just like lally gag around. Just take three lunch breaks and seven breaks and yeah, union. Yeah. Five buttons, three hours. Yeah, pretty much. Good job. You need any heating and air conditioning work? Call Seth. Don't call me. My phone does not he ring. Pays, he gets paid by the hour. It does not ring. <laughs> I can sit here. All want. right. I got some random food today. Not all random, but we got some meatballs. They look delicious. Got some super tasty looking mac and cheese. It's like, I made it have extra crispy parts because I know everybody likes that. Indeed. I do. And then pizza rolls. Why not? They were in the freezer. I thought somebody might want them. There wasn't a ton of meatballs left, so. Way like, back, way, the, way back. The dog wants it now. She's ready. Throwing it back on the pizza rolls. Hell yeah, lots of food. Two division show, I figure everybody's gonna eat more, right? I mean, absolutely. We'll be there a lot longer. Well, we're at Lincoln. We're waiting We're waiting on, on the street here. So Heather was just talking about how, tell us about your Saturday, what, what's your favorite? You know what I like to do on a Saturday? I really love to just sit on the street outside Lincoln Speedway. Just just sit here and wait to get in in the in a dirty race truck and Whoa, it ain't dirty. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's an O three, Heather. Just saying. But you look nice. Yeah. Check out that shirt. I'm ready to get out of this truck <laughs> and like do something with my day. <laughs> I don't like waiting. That's the frustration. Heather doesn't like waiting, in case anybody didn't already know that. One thing she doesn't do is wait in line well. Or ever. Well, there's the GKR team. All right, two division show today, so there's more cars here. All right, we're moving. We're moving. You good? I'm good. All right, Nate uh, volunteered for this job. All right, let's go. You just walk up and pull one. Is that anyone? Over there to... Nope, over here, Nate. Oh, yeah, we're not pulling that one. 410, all right. I'm going to look at you dead in the eyes. Okay. You got to look at me while I look at you. Maybe. Oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> you want to go to Olive Garden later? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. 
Nate, what happened? We're not going to Olive Garden. We're not, we're not going to Olive Garden. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nate. All that for that? I wanted some breadsticks. <laughs> I mean, I'd still go with you. <laughs> All right. I tried. I tried to seduce her with so, my longing look. So basically, you're as lucky Just as, as the rest as of us. Else. Yeah, not good. We, we still like it. All right, what do you got for me here? A pierogi quesadilla from Wawa. This is my dealer. I'm your Polish Mexican dealer. I am so freaking excited to try this. It's a little bit warm too. Awesome. Thank and you're you ready. Bye. Look at this guy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Well, we're back to Lincoln again. As as per normal, we're in turn three. It's the last draw show of the year. Thank you. <laughs> another another not so good pill, but 44 go rat. There's a lot of cars here. Three of the eights are also here today, so more cars than normal. Uh, the track, you know, we're starting at six o'clock, 5:30 warm ups, but with the time change, it's really only like an hour later than normal. So they're really uh, working the track over pretty good. But uh, yeah, normal normal routine here at Lincoln. Normal stuff is the last couple of races. So now they're selling merch. They're packing the track in, and uh, pretty soon we'll go racing. We're just up here and Nate was giving his analysis of the running vehicles. Nate, what's your thoughts <laughs> on the running vehicles? Which one would you be riding in? Oh boy. Uh, any of them. I think it'd be fun. I'd have way too much fun with that. What There's no it? way I could just go straight. There's no we way. We know you're not that straight. Yeah, I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you could pack it in, right? Yeah, pack it up and pack it in. <laughs> we can let me begin. <laughs> it right. is St. Patrick's Day. That's a pretty good song. That is true. Any of them. Any of them. Nate wants to be a wheel packer. Mud packer. <laughs> is that what they call them? Mud packer. A, what is it? Mud. Pack mud the mud. Packer. Mud packer. I like the noise it makes. It reminds me of something. That like wet popping noise when they go by. Like. <laughs> uh, you can hear it. Wait. Things that make you go, hmm. All right. So we're in the second heat. Starting seventh. There's 30 cars here. It's going to be three heats. A qualify six out of each heat, top three to redraw, like it's been the last few weeks. Uh, one or two changes this week, well, actually, three changes this week. Driver's meeting one inch wicker bill on top wing only, you can't go any taller than that. You can still do whatever you want in the front wing. If you leave your car during or after an accident, you may forfeit your earnings for the night. So, I, I guess that's the thing. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a problem before, but I guess it was. And if there's a multiple vehicle accident, or you know, four, say three cars spin out, I guess last time we were here, uh, they, they lined them back up when they all three pushed off the way they pushed off, and there must have been some problems with that. So this, from now on, the, they will revert back to the last score lap. So that's what the driver meeting was about. Heat the motors next. I think there's probably around 30 or so ribbon gates here. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to get racing and see what happens. We'll catch up with you after Outlaps. Look who we got here. Okay, fans, you got me back here. And I am wow. your first place champion Whoa. in the Bernie County Special Olympics. Yeah, bling bling. How'd you get that? Tell everybody. Uh, I won first place in bowling. Did good. I uh, messed up a little bit, but I came back. Beat good teams. We had good Frank County team. We worked so hard. Uh, came back to the racetrack, and the weather's beautiful, so... So we we'll see you on the racetrack. If other drivers you seen this, watch out, Billy's coming. Whoop! For all the women, yeah, get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some uh, special treatment here. Our friend that works for security now it was our friend before he did is uh, helping out with these totes, and me and Janet were really struggling. They're pretty heavy yet, so. Everyone here is so nice. We're lucky to race at a track where everybody is so cool and helps out and 
everything's so nice and taken care of. All right, Hall Observer tracks way different than last time. Three and four, it's kind of like, I want to say it's run it up. It's kind of got like, I don't know, like drips all the way across it. So I'm going to free up a little bit. We're in a kind of late heat race, but I'm a little snug. From last time we were, I left the same bars in. So we're going to make a couple changes, get ready for the heat race. And uh, we'll see. It's really windy out, so you'd think it would probably drive these trailways off pretty quick. So. It's going to be I think, a lot of change in track change before we get out of the heat race. you got four three day heat races and then three, three four tens and we're in the second. It'll be like the fifth, sixth heat race out. up next we made a couple of changes and actually freed the car up from hot laps to the heat race starting seventh and just gave it too tight back there slack of maneuver so we did some changes we'll see how it works out um by far we have the i mean the heat race is stacked beyond stack it I, is i can't even figure out why everybody's in this heat race i mean like everybody so between the, the six cars in front of me and the three cars behind me all feature winners so Hope for the best. If I can pick a spot off here, get qualified, that's what we're trying to do. Rolling all seventh, they're taking six. Feeling pretty good about this. You know, car was pretty decent early for hot laps. I'm thinking, well, we we'll just put through this first turn here a little, you know, because it's a little slick down there and roll the bottom on the start on the inside. And it didn't last long. I can see the eight going around. Bam. I mean, I hit him hard. I, I, I hit him hit him hard enough that I figured something had to be broke. It sure was. off and as soon as we start rolling here as you're gonna see that uh, my head's bobbing up now pretty good I can tell right away that there's something majorly bent in the car I'm just kind of hoping maybe it's a right rear wheel only but I kind of had my doubts because it's shaking really really bad so I'm gonna take it to the pitch coming in hot Guys are going to keep working. Uh, they're going green. We're going to continue to work until they get a lap in, just in case we catch a caution. And we didn't get a caution, so we're not going back out.
Changing rears, me and Corey are trying to get the torque tube nuts off. The uh, torque tube right there is a lot of grease there and oil. We got some of the nuts off and then just it's just getting to be hard to handle. And we're kind of struggling a little bit getting, a, getting in there with the wrench and whatnot. So we're thrashing, just uh, we're struggling a little bit right at this point in time. Seth and Danny and Jake, they got the spare rear end out and they're going to put the set of gears in there a while. We had oil in the rear, we don't have gears in it. So they're gonna try and speed up the process here by getting the gears in a while. Just so when we're ready to slap it in, it's one less thing we gotta do. Well, for anybody that's uh, changing the rear end in our, at the shop, it goes pretty easy sometimes, but this clip in the front of this ball spline can be a real pain in you know what, especially at the track when you're trying to do it in a hurry. There's lots of grease and oil up there at the front of the rear. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting the snap ring out, but I got it out right there. Now we're ready to pick this thing up and get it out of here. And yeah, that's how you get a rear end out the racetrack. Boom, just like that. Well, speaking of this clip, the snap ring, I'm going to call it clipper snap ring. I'm trying to get it in place. And here again, I'm having a hard time getting it in there. Um, my hands are all full. So then Danny's like, give me, give me the snap ring pliers. I can get it in there. Um, he's going to attempt to get it in there, but he's not going to be successful either. Um, tell you what, what else is going on here during this period of time is, you know, the last heat race is on the track. So by now, we're already starting to think a little bit about time, like, this snap ring is costing us a lot of time, valuable time to, to get this job done. And eventually, uh, Danny hands me the snap ring pliers back and I get it in so we can move on. But it's just really slowed us down. Try, man. They're just so fucking small. I don't have my set with me. Torque tube hooked up. Now we're working on hooking everything else up. Got the rear end up on blocks. He's working on the brakes, hooking the brake line up. I'm making sure the torque tube's good and tight. Little did we know that this was uh, going to be the downfall of our whole thing, this whole brake set up here. But uh, we're we're getting there. We just over the hump here. We're just going to take a little time to get everything squared. Uh, square the rear end just fell off the blocks. That's something you always always worry about when everybody's thrashing knocking around off the block so we're in back up on the blocks get the bird cages on get everything hooked up and uh, we're making we're making progress just uh, it's kind of been a little slow we're getting ready to bleed the brakes Danny's down there getting the tools right I got the brake fluid master cylinder all filled up so we're gonna start bleeding brakes here we, we thought we were pretty much done. Nate's here uh, Johnny on the spot with the rags and everything else. <laughs> After I yelled at him earlier in the night, so I felt sorry, Nate. Sorry I yelled at you, but you're doing a good job. A good but job. me and Dan get the, uh, the brakes bled, and the pedal feels pretty good. So we think we're pretty much ready to rock and roll at this point in time. Just a matter of slapping the wheels on it and putting the, the panels back on and, and going out for the B. But uh, we may be wrong. Watch.
calling the B main cars the staging, so we gotta like get this wrapped up now. We're up next. Get this thing on the ground. Get the panel on. Get the 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 push it off. We're up next. point in time I'm actually starting to think a little bit about the actual race car and racing finally we got a, a somewhat of a, a minute here to like catch my breath but it's been non-stop really and it didn't you know it seemed like it took a long time but it didn't take as you know as, it wasn't as bad as I thought I mean we rewatched the video but uh, I'm starting to realize that maybe my brakes ain't that good and all of a sudden here so I'm yelling at Danny hey Danny my, my brakes ain't good let them uh them bleeders are gonna bleed them again, but we got problems here. Hang on. Corey said, "Hang on." He said he's all right. Well, here's what's happening now. We rolled out here to go out for the feature, and I noticed when I stopped here for uh, a second that my brakes were really, really spongy. And Danny comes over to the car. I'm like, "Hey, man, I don't, I don't have any brakes. My pedals all the way to the floor." And he's like, "Nah, I can't be." I'm like, "Yeah, it sure is." So then he looks down and he notices that the fluid is literally running past the O-rings on the caliper, and this is probably from. The fact that this rear has been hanging in the trailer for a couple years now, so take note of that if you're out there. Uh, this rear has been hanging in the trailer for a while, but the O-rings must have dried up or something here, and um, now we're really in scramble mode. At this point in time, I, I'm kind of thinking that we're, we're pretty much just screwed because I know that the, the rear caliper that's on this spare rear is not compatible with this rear caliper that was on the rear in the car to begin with, so... But Danny has no quit in him. And a uh, big shout out to Danny and Jake and his guys for getting us a hand here. But all hands on deck here all of a sudden. And I'm literally wondering why why we're even doing this at this point in time. Because they're literally pushing the cars out, I think, for the B main. We're getting ready to. And uh, I don't have any brakes. These guys really busted their ass. They got this other caliper on here. Even though it wasn't the right thing, they got it together. And we're going to go out for the B main, but just not lined up properly, but it'll work. Jesus Lord. I never changed the brake out there. B main time, as you can see, we got a little camera malfunction here, super fast speed, but I knew lining up for the race that we were going to be behind on our adjustments with the car because we really didn't adjust it at all from the heat race. So I'm just making a couple laps here, and I, honestly, we're just not going anywhere. So I figured no point in prolonging this. We, I'm not going to qualify. I'm just going to pull off, save the equipment, fix the car for the next race because we obviously have some work to do. Time to, to tune on the car, simple as that. Like, I'm so antsy getting into the turns, I 
<laughs> Alright, we got our family picture for the year. 2024. It's the only way we know how to do it. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> and Seth, Seth was like, I don't need to go over. I was like, you're going. Family picture time. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. Even in bad times, we still have something good to celebrate. Danny won the race. We all got a picture taken. Family portrait. So, rough night, but that's the way it goes. On to the next race. So, thanks everybody for watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you all for notification. Thank you to my fans. Thank you to my crew. All my sponsors. Even the dog. She's ready to go. She, she's done. She's done. See you tomorrow.